What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Tech and Tactical. I wanted to do a quick channel update for you guys. Um, I've decided to do another test. Uh, this time what we're going to do is I've got two steels that I really, really like uh, and two knives that I really, really like. Both of these steels are, are pretty high end. Um, you know, they're some of the nicer steels that you can get um, as far as like pocket knives are concerned. Um, you know, or not, you know, fixed plate. I mean, uh, as far as knives are concerned, these are two of kind of the better steels that are available. So the two steels uh, in question, some of you already know where this is going. Um, one is the uh, CPM S90V on the Spyderco Manix. And then the other steel that I'm going to be comparing it to um, which I'm already in the process of doing, is the CTS XHP. So both of these steels are fabulous. Uh, if you're not, if you don't know, this is a uh, Cold Steel Mini AK-47, and this is a Spyderco Manix 2. This one is a Sprint Run. Uh, I'm sorry, not Sprint Run. This is an exclusive. This is a Knifeworks exclusive, you know, with those orange, those beautiful orange handles. Uh, and this is a about-to-be... Um, discontinued um, knife steel uh, CTS XHP. Both of these steels, the reason I'm doing this, um, I sort of touched on it a second ago. These are two of my favorite steels. Um, as far as S90V, I kind of go back and forth. Um, it is extremely difficult to sharpen, um, so I do go back and forth a bit, but both of these steels are wonderful. They both have great uh, edge retention, they both have really good corrosion resistance. Um, you know, they're, they're both uh, reasonably priced, uh, and it, I guess it depends on the knife, um, but they're both reasonably priced. I've uh, had these, uh, I've been carrying, not carrying when I leave, you know, and go out, but I've been using actively both of these knives. Both of them had a very sharp factory edge when I started. Um, you know, I realized that putting my own edge on both of them might be a better comparison, but I thought, you know, since they're both sharp from the factory, um, and that's the way that, you know, the factory grinds, you know, sharpens them a certain way. Why don't we test the factory edge, um, you know, at this, you know, at the same time. So, um, you know, what we're going to do is I'm going to use both of these knives, uh, pretty thoroughly. Um, and then we're going to, I'm going to compare these two steels directly. I, they started when I started this comparison with these two knives, both of these knives would push cut. Uh, pad paper, um, you know, like paper you'd uh, tear off of a, a writing writing pad. Um, so they both had all, essentially, without me having one of those um, neat things that'll test how sharp an edge is. These felt almost identical in sharpness when I uh, when I started this project. So both of them started extremely sharp. Both of them are fab fabulous knife steels, um, and both of them are really cool knives too. At the same time so I'm gonna do a update uh, every so often you know I'd, I'd like to say I'm gonna do it weekly but I don't know I'm gonna if I use these for like three hours one day I'll probably do an update right away so you might get an update in three days you might get one in a week but in any event I'm gonna be updating you guys because I'm really curious because I love both of these steels um, you know CTS XHP and S90V are so awesome I really really like them um, you know, so why not test them? Now, you know, some of you will point out probably without me even saying anything, um, you know, they're a bit, they're different grinds. You know, one's a high saber, one's a full flat grind. Um, I believe that the cold steel is a hollow. Yeah, it's a hollow, you know, the, the cold steel is a hollow high saber grind. Um, you know, so they're different grinds. You can see I've been using them today. I'm trying to use them. And again, this is not scientific, guys. This is going to be just like a real-world um, test. I'm trying to do the exact same cutting with both. So let me give you an example of, of what I did today. I was breaking down some boxes, and I would literally go back and forth. And I know this isn't scientific. We're not cutting, you know, cardboard uh, varies in, in its, um, you know, uh, the way that it's made, um, the way that I push the knife through. The, I mean, we could go into... 
we could talk about this all day, but the idea is, is to see if I notice a better, you know, which one's better for me or for what purpose is it better, etc. So I'm going to keep you guys updated and I'm not going to stop this test until both of these knives are somewhat dull. Um, you know, I'm going to try to get them to wear down, um, you know, together. And if one of them be, is wearing much quicker than the other, then, you know, we'll have some data uh, to go off of. Um, so, um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, by the way, there's links in the, well, there's not a link for this exact thing in the description, but I believe you can still get them um, if you check. But I'm going to have links for both of these knives down in the description. Please use those links. Those help the channel. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'll put in like a regular lightweight Manix and uh, a heavier duty Manix. And then um, if this is still available uh, in XHP, I'll put a link for this too. Um, but if you want this exact one, I think you got to go to um, Knifeworks. So, um, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for coming. Um, you know, please like and subscribe if, you, if you're into these sort of things. And if you, you know, please subscribe if you want to see what happens um, between these two guys head to head. All right, later on.